All right, PSA blind reveal here. Bulk of this submission is going to be some vintage Willie Mays. This was a vintage order, piece of, recent PSA vintage order out on a $15 rate per card, max of $199. And there's going to be some comps on the screen if I can find cards. I'll try to go ahead and find similar comps. Most of these cards are pretty fluid, so I should be able to find some. If you're here for 10s, don't expect any 10s. I don't, there should be no 10s in this video. Uh, I have a little cheat sheet on the pre-grades. So starting this off, 1964 Willie Mays. I have this pre-graded two or three. I picked up pretty much all these Willie Mays. I'm going to be starting a plain years run, but I pretty much picked all these up at a local card show so this I, I got a bulk of these at uh there's a card show on on the channel it's a pasco washington one so kept on hitting a dealer enough of the talk and let's see what the grade is a three so i'm happy with that that's the higher of of the two that i had as we can see it's off center to the right and like i said i'll be putting some nice little comps on the screen we'll keep we'll just uh we'll go high to low i suppose so <laughs> the reason to probably be the average i have i didn't get upcharged on this order i had one card i think it was the 1960 willie mays that i have graded pretty high high enough to be over the 200 dollar threshold which these went out on so 1963 i have this being a solid three and it hit a two. So I was one off there. It's probably going to happen. Sway left or right. Of course, they may have seen something that I, I missed. But yes, these, these are going to be heavily <laughs> in that range. So like I said, do not expect. I'm not made of money. I cannot afford cards in extreme high-end condition. And uh, be paying that out. Maybe someday, but just obviously not right now. 1962. Willie Mays, I have this as a two or three, and it hits a three. So again, if I'm doing two or three, I'm hitting the higher. This seems to be, is it in a thicker case? No, this almost felt like it. But uh, yeah, I mean, as we can see, it's severely off-centered to the left. And of course, uh, probably you can see the top bar there, that mark down there on the bottom. So it's probably sitting how would that be high i would say so nonetheless i'm not too fond of that set design 62 i'm not quite sure kind of it's a kind of a reminding of 1987 the wood design there 61 i think this one i had pretty high i have this as a three or four so every time i've been saying that and it hits the four so we're doing pretty good with the uh, the double. I'm hitting the higher of the two. Guess I'm giving myself some leeway when I pick two grades. It's a pretty nice little close-up portrait on the 61. And this is going to be what the 60. So yes, we have two more after this. Nice little 60. The 60 I have as a two or a three. I think it's the 59 or 57 and not quite sure. I'm jumping one year here, but the 60 hit a two and I had a two. No, I did not. I had a two or three. So this is the first one. The next card I have as a two, the 59. So I have this as appropriate. <laughs> that doesn't belong. We actually hit a four. And... There's a Fred McGriff, if you're curious what else. I didn't really say this. Fred McGriff, rookie card. Some uh, There's a Hammer and Hank, a Clark, and some PC Rice stuff. So I love 59 set for some reason. I'm not quite sure. Let me know what your favorite set is with these kind of mid to early 60s to late 50s. I don't know. I gravitate to the 59 for some reason. But it's hard to get the color right on these. But uh, the 59, I said I have a 2, and it hit a 2.5. So that's good to see. As the good plus designation there. 
I guess we should put this still in the two category. All right, and 57. Yeah, this one I had high. I had this at a four. So I was pretty, pretty happy on this solid four. And it hit solid four. My vintage grading. This is the first time I've ever graded vintage. My vintage grading seems to be... I almost feel like it's easier to grade vintage than ultra modern. Because I feel like there's some leeway a little bit with vintage. And then ultra modern. It's like the grading seems to be all over the place. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be very accurate. And as, if you can't tell, I am a San Francisco Giants fan, so that's why you're seeing some stretch on here. Hall of Famer Willie McCovey, 79. I just threw these in with the submission because I was thinking maybe I'll do a run on his playing years. So we, we have a 79. I have a 5 on this. I hit an 8. So that's better, way better than... I'm not quite sure what I was off on that. Why well, I had it as a five. Yeah, I was pretty rough on that. So the hate, the hate, the eight, can't speak. And we have a 70. And I also have this as a five. So this looks better than that. So this hits a six. <laughs> I was going based on centering. We can see there's a white line down there on the bottom, so it is sitting high on that. I'm not quite sure what else maybe I, I missed there, but apparently they thought the the 8 was better condition. The 79 compared to this. We'll just, uh, there's so many different grade values here. We'll just keep the hanks or the uh, stretches together and... Hank Aaron, I have this between a one and a half and a two and a half. As we can see, there's some solid wrinkle. There's a nice little stain mark. 65 is not a bad, bad set design in my eyes, but this card, yeah, is, of course the corners, <laughs> it's a little rough. So yeah, one and a half to two and a half on this guy and it hits a one and a half. So that's expected. That wrinkle on the back, I'm not quite sure if it went all the way through. And there's some solid staining on the back here. So I'm surprised I actually gave it a one and a half now that I've been grading for a while. These these were sitting down there for really started grading maybe like start of 2023, late 2022. So there's been quite a few. You learn as you go, right? You have to make mistakes to learn. So, yeah, there's been a, a learning curve deeply. We all have to have it starting to grade. 1986, this is the true rookie for Fred McGriff. Just recently inducted into the Hall of Fame. I actually, this was currently at grading, I think, before it was known that he was in the Hall of Fame. So this was already there, off in their hands. And I sent it in just on the pure, I went out and bought it on the on the thought that he probably will get in and was trying to find a nicely DC decently centered card and this one seemed to kind of fit the bill so I have this as an eight and it hits an eight so pretty accurate with that doing pretty well on my pre-grades I would say all right Will Clark I am trying to complete the set registry for his rookie cards now that I'm looking at this, this looks pretty rough. I have this also as an eight. And I think it's this card and one other. I think it's his leaf. Or I could be wrong on that. Not quite sure. It might be his leaf that I'm just missing to complete the set registry. And I'll be, be up there. But obviously we went the highest grade. So I want to at least make the top ten in that set registry. So we had a pre-grade of an 8, and it hit an 8. I'm not quite sure what my accuracy percentage is for pre-grades on this so far, but I think I've only missed like two. Pretty confident in myself. These second-year Jerry Rices, I have a pre-grade of 
an 8 and 7. So one have being an 8 and the other a 7. This one is a 7 and a half. Normally they don't give half grades all that high. Normally it's like the lower grades you start seeing half grades, I feel like. But yeah, I feel like once you get past like 6, you really don't see half grades. So that's interesting. I'll take it. I'm not complaining. I don't know whether that was the 7 or 8. And we're about to find out. Last card. Thank you for joining me today on this video. If you're going to bug out of here real quick after seeing the last card. And it hits a 9. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. So I'm guessing that's what I thought was a 7. This is what I guess I thought was the 8. And that's a decent card. That is a shock. So that's going to the PC. And if you're curious why I submitted both of these, I will be starting the Jerry Rice Playing Years run as well. If you haven't by noticed and you're new to this channel, yes, I am a Giants and Niners fan. That's what I PC. So you're going to see a lot of that on this channel. I will dab here and there elsewhere on big names, mainly football, baseball. But if you enjoy this type of video, please consider subscribing. Give it a like if you are this far. And I appreciate the support, the views. Any comments? Let me know what your favorite card was here. What do you like? What do you, did you think I was off? I know it's hard to see. You don't have these up in front of your face. But let me know what your favorite card was. Some of these might be hitting the eBay store. I sell pretty regularly on eBay. <laughs> as long as I don't break the slabs. But um, yeah, thanks for joining me today. Y'all take care. Have a good one.